and has now been allowed to shine this light and have this voice. Every Jane Doe. What this new law does is number one, it brings out information, exposure, and accountability that these institutions have been unable and incapable of doing. Institutions like the Catholic Church, institutions like the Boy Scouts of America, institutions like the private schools here in Manhattan, the day camps, the tutors, the scholars, the teachers, all of those individuals and those institutions can now be held accountable I hope that my faith is restored in, in the church. You know, I've been having trouble with my you know, religious practice over the years, just getting back there. I hope that that can be renewed, and I hope that we shouldn't have to think twice about, you know, sending children, especially to Catholic schools, Catholic church events, Catholic uh, organizations. That should not be a question. It should not be in the back of our minds. And I hope that this sets that straight so that in the future, the church is the sanctuary that it is meant to be for all of us. Um, because of the new Child Victim Act, I will finally have the opportunity, which I am right now, to tell my story in the court of law and find out what the school officials in Wellsville knew about Wade's abuse and when they knew it. I, I hope my story will help convince other survivors of child sexual abuse to come forward. The abuser was a danger to children. It is very painful for me to relive this abuse by standing here and telling my story. I am willing to endure the pain in the hopes that other children will never have to tell this kind of story when they grow up. I am so grateful to the governor and the legislature Legis legislator of New York for passing this Child Victims Act so that I have the opportunity to come forward and seek justice against my abuser and those who have the responsibility to protect me from him.